Hey guys, how's it going? So, you like my table? You like my background? It's awesome, right? It's so worn. <laughs> um, yeah, so, uh, I've been buying a lot of PS3 games lately. I I sold off half, almost half of my collection, and now I've just been wanting to get back into it, seeing that I don't really need the money anymore, and I want to build up my PS3 collection again, yet again. Uh, so not too many Xbox games, but I did pick up a lot of PS3 games and some PS3 games I never bought before. So some of these are really new for me. And, um, yeah, so let's just get into it. Let's just get into the, the Xbox games that I did get. I got Batman Begins. And now this is a really minty, um, like, like copy. The, the manual is like almost like brand new. This thing is like like spanking new like i don't think anybody's ever used this or played it or maybe played it a couple times but they really took good care of it because the box is great like, it's all it almost looks like brand freaking new so i was happy about that and and also with uh outrun 2 now i've never played it i know the original outrun is more expensive but when i saw outrun 2 i think i paid like not even 20 bucks for this i had to pick it up because i opened it up and again it has a great great manual and the disc is really good when it when it becomes um 20 or more i can't get this out now when it becomes 20 or more i usually tend to check the uh, tend to check the discs i'm having difficulties guys here it's not it's not coming out but it's good <laughs> we'll just say it's good but when it comes to 20 or uh, more games I asked to see the disc because I don't want to scratch disc if I'm play, paying 20 bucks for something. But I'm really excited to get Outrun 2. So those were the only two Xbox games. Now, I am picking up more tonight uh, out of Facebook Marketplace, which is fun. So that would be on my next video probably. So let's just get into my PS3 games. So I got Vanquish. Uh, this was 13 bucks. This was originally, I paid originally like 8 bucks for this uh, years ago. And that's what I'm saying, like... P ps3 games are becoming more notoriously expensive again what's with the sega what's with the sega stuff i'm only having issues with sega games here ah oh, fuck it <laughs> but i didn't have a manual in my original vanquish so that was awesome and it's great cover i love it uh great game if you if you're into these types of games it's like a cover shooter Kind of like a Gears of War, but a little bit more fast pace. Uh, RPG, uh, White Knight Chronicles. This is the International Edition. Uh, pay 10 bucks. This is about the same, I would say, for the White Knight Chronicles. Uh, it hasn't really dropped in price or raised in price, so that's great. Again, it's complete with a nice manual. I was really surprised to find this with the slip cover, Prototype 2. Um... Yeah, paid nine bucks. I was surprised this was only nine bucks. Uh, I'm not gonna open that because it's a pain in the ass to do this with one hand. But um, a very nice slip cover, not too damaged, and which surprisingly, you know, I still need to pick up Prototype One, which annoys me. Um, don't know if I get showed you guys this. Now I did sell this one uh, about a year and a half ago, and I really regretted when I did sell this. Um, it goes for a little bit more higher price. I did not have the manual last time, which kind of sucks. So it's nice to have that. Now, I did have the codes for um, uh, the add-on stuff, but it doesn't work anymore. So they used it. But I saw, I picked this up for 23 bucks. Now, that's a little high price for me, but I really like this game. And then I, uh, two weeks back, or two weeks uh after I picked this up, they had another copy, and for some reason they were asking for like 70 73 bucks. And I was like, What the hell are you guys doing? I paid like 23 bucks for this, and the guy couldn't tell me why it was jacked up in price. So maybe, maybe they screwed up, maybe they screwed up with the copy that they have. But if, if you're gonna pick this up, pick it up now before it gets like super crazy. Uh, uh, Dragon's Dogma, Dark Arisen. Now this is the second game. This is fourteen bucks. This is a little bit more pricier than I would have wanted to pay for a not complete copy. But um, yeah, it's an RPG. If you played the first uh, Dragon's Dogma, it was all right. 
I've heard that the second one is a lot better. Um, speaking of sequels, Dead Rising 2, off the record, this was with uh, Frank there. Uh, $10 game, complete, which is nice. Very nice. Who, who doesn't like playing as Frank? Double uh, Seven Legends. This was fourteen bucks. I was surprised this was fourteen bucks. Usually, Double Seven games are going like up in price, but you know, nice copy, nice clean copy. Manuals all nice, so that was great. Uh, now this is uh, the twenty dollar game. Tales of Symphonia. This is Chronicles, so it has two games in it. Now it doesn't have the manual, which sucks, but it has this thing. So I don't think it ever came with a manual. I think it came with this stuff. So, yeah, and beggars can't be choosers. That comes with two games. Uh, Tales of Symphonia and Tales of Symphonia Dawn of the New World. So, that's a two-in-one package right there, baby, for 20 bucks. So, that's pretty good. Uh, another another great game, uh, Dragon's Crown. And again, 20 bucks. I, I, see, I'm telling you, they're going up in price. This was never 20 bucks back in the day. Uh... Atlas, you know, Atlas makes uh, pretty good games. If you can get them for cheap, or if you can find them. You know, I've been doing pretty good with the complete and manuals, so. It's a pretty cool game. Um, I always screwed up on this name. Uh, Valkyria Chronicles. I did get this for 7 bucks. I got it at a local uh, video store. It was like buy 3 for 10 so, I, I got a deal on that one. Which was, I was happy because um, at my local video game store, it, it was like almost 20 bucks and I wasn't paying 20 bucks for this. It's a great game, don't get me wrong, but I'm not paying 20 bucks for this one. I'll save that. Now, I was surprised by this one, uh, Def Jam Icon. Um, I've been looking... And sometimes I've been seeing it for over 20, between 20 and 25. And I picked this up for 8 bucks. Um, great, great deal. I, th I thought it was a great deal. Uh, it came complete. And it looks pretty nice too. So for 8 bucks, I cannot complain. Yeah, I cannot complain about picking this up. This is probably one of the, one of the games that you're... It, it's not hard. I wouldn't say it's like... Oh, I wouldn't know what to say. <laughs> I'm sorry, guys. Um, another expensive game. Harry Potter and the Hapless Prince. Now, this is probably the one of the most expensive ones I did pick up. This is 26 bucks. Harry Potter games are notorious for being, like, expensive as hell. And it just irks me to no end. But, um, you know, it's a movie license game. It shouldn't be that expensive. And it shouldn't be that hard to find, but... It's always like that. It's always like that with Harry Potter. Uh, on PS2, on original Xbox, they're always expensive. And it drives me nuts. Um, Dead Alive 5. This was this was 8 bucks. It's it's a fighting game. It's Dead Alive. Speaking of Dead Rising, I got Dead Rising 2 for 10. Which is nice. So, uh, I'm not going to find Dead Rising 1 on PS3. But it's nice to have 2 and off the record. It's all complete. Portal 2, 20 bucks. You know, uh, it's Portal 2. It's a popular game. I don't know if it's worth 20 bucks, but it's nice. The manual is all good. The disc is good. See, I popped that out pretty fast. Yeah, disc, disc is alright. Now, this one really irked me. Now, when, I, when I'm i looking for the, um, the, the special edition Skyrim, because I... I've been getting into Skyrim, so when I saw the Game of the Year sticker there, I thought it was the special edition. Turns out it's not. It's just a regular edition, just with a different, <laughs> different thing on it. So um, I paid like eight bucks for this, um, which is not, not horrible, but uh, th this threw me off. The price here threw me off. It was thirty-two here, so I thought, you know, if they're charging thirty-two, I thought it was the. Uh, the special edition it's not so i don't know why this was 32 dollars i did find today <laughs> this is the one i wanted this is the legendary edition i got this for 10 bucks so that's great uh comes with everything comes with all the all the the uh downloadable stuff so i'm really happy i found that one which kind of weird because um the disc doesn't say 
legendary. So I hope I didn't get screwed over again. I hope I didn't. I hope it's on this disc. So <laughs> I really hope. So I gotta pop this in and see if it see if it has all the the downloadable stuff. And last but not least, uh, this was twenty bucks. Now, reason I got this, I have Borderlands two, but I don't have Spec Ops Line or Mafia two. Now, Spec Ops the Line, just by itself, is twenty dollars, and Mafia is about five to ten, depends on where you go. So I thought it's just easier for me to pay twenty, get these two games I wanted, and you know it didn't really matter if this came. Now, I really like this box set. I think um, 2K did a really good job. And uh, there's uh, Borderlands 2 there. You got Spec Ops and you got... Um, what the hell is that? I think that's Borderlands again. But I really like the packaging they did on this. So you open it up. Oh, there's Mafia 2 right there. So you got the, the manual. And you got all the discs. That's pretty cool. Now all the discs are really good good condition. So for twenty bucks, just for this alone, this is worth this is worth everything. I don't care if it's just a single uh game that's part of the collection. I'm not really into that, but I just really like uh really like this set. It's awesome. So, yeah. Now they do have different sets, but I'm not gonna bother buying those. Because I'm not going to have like three copies of one game. So, because the other one has um, Bioshock 2, Mafia, and something else. And it, it's just, this is the one I wanted. This is the one I wanted. So, that's the one I was going to get. But, uh, yeah, that's it for today's video, guys. I hope you like it. There's a lot of stuff I had. And um, hopefully, soon down the line, I will have more to show you. All right? But I love you, and so leave a comment down below. Throw me a like if you want. If you have not yet subscribed, please do. And as always, I love you, and I will talk to you later. Bye.